We're calling it a score. We're all here today to discuss the new trends and developments in global health. Global health diplomacy seems to be a new discipline that's looking at how health can serve as a diplomatic tool to foster change in countries and globally. With the U.S. Public Health Service and the Department of Health and Human Services, we do a, a number of programs and, and projects that, that we try to help throughout the world and to, to spread the United States' um, global mission of, of being a, a world citizen. Today I, I presented the European Commission uh, approach to global health. Today we publish uh, our communication with the kind of policy paper about the, the way EU uh, in current treaty, which is new treaty for European Union, is going to work in global health uh, framework. I focused uh, my presentation on the role of health technologies, specifically telemedicine uh, and other innovative technologies that I use in my daily work, to show how, how those have really uh, presented a paradigm shift uh, in international relations and in diplomacy. Governments such as the United States are looking at a new way of, of diplomacy via health and that is looking at directly working with countries and seeing countries as equal partners. We in the United States are a, a citizen of the world and that the issues and the problems that we have here, we understand that we some of those same problems are around the rest of the world and many of the problems that the other parts of the world have, we have them as well. And if we can solve some of our issues, we can translate those solutions to other parts of the, the world. You know, a lot of politicians and government have already used technologies and health diplomacy to achieve certain goals in international relations. I think that's going to become much more prominent in the near future. And of course, in the context of global world, we are strengthening our presence with China, India, and of course with the traditional partner, the United States uh, as well. So, so it's important that we, we, we define our role uh, and the way we play uh, together uh, in this difficult uh, and challenging uh, and quite speedy world. As all the actors engage in global health diplomacy, we need to take some of the things we said today seriously, and that is training health professionals beyond the clinical needs and training them to understand the political, social, and cultural context in which they're working so that we can really take the recommendation to understand the local needs of the situation seriously.